Stanley Tucci. The name alone evokes images of charisma, wit, and a certain effortless charm. His presence on screen is magnetic, drawing audiences into the worlds he inhabits with a seamless blend of humour, gravitas, and an undeniable authenticity. We know him from our screens, a beloved actor who brings characters to life with a captivating blend of humour and gravitas. From his unforgettable roles in The Devil Wears Prada to The Hunger Games, Tucci has consistently showcased his versatility and depth as an actor. His performances are not just memorable, they are transformative, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Yet behind the familiar face, a silent battle raged. A battle that was not scripted, not rehearsed, and certainly not one he had ever prepared for. It was a fight for his life, one that would test his strength, his spirit, and his resolve in ways he had never imagined. In 2017, at the age of 57, Stanley Tucci was diagnosed with oral cancer. The diagnosis was a devastating blow, a stark reminder that illness can touch anyone, even those who seem invincible. It was a moment that changed everything, casting a shadow over his life and career. The news came as a shock, a stark reminder that illness can touch anyone, even those who seem invincible. Friends, family and fans alike were stunned, grappling with the reality that their beloved Stanley was facing such a formidable foe. The outpouring of support was immediate, but so was the fear and uncertainty that accompanied it. For Tucci, a man who found joy in food, conversation and the simple pleasures of life, the diagnosis felt particularly cruel. Food was not just sustenance for him, it was a passion, a way of connecting with others and celebrating life. The thought of losing that connection was almost as painful as the illness itself. The very things that brought him happiness were now under threat. The simple act of eating, once a source of joy, became a challenge. The kitchen, once a sanctuary, now felt like a battleground. But Tucci was determined not to let the disease take away his love for life. This is the story of Stanley Tucci's fight against cancer, a journey marked by pain, fear and uncertainty, but also by incredible resilience, unwavering love and the power of human connection. Through gruelling treatments and moments of despair, Tucci found strength in the support of his loved ones and the determination to keep fighting. It's a story that reminds us that even in the face of adversity, hope can bloom and life, though forever changed, can still be beautiful. Stanley Tucci's journey is a testament to the human spirit's capacity to endure, to find light in the darkest of times and to emerge stronger with a renewed appreciation for the preciousness of life. The initial signs were subtle, easily dismissed. A persistent pain in his tongue, difficulty swallowing. Tucci, like many of us, brushed it off, attributing the discomfort to stress or overwork. But as the symptoms persisted, a nagging worry began to grow. Finally, he sought medical advice. A series of tests followed, each one heightening the tension and uncertainty. Then came the diagnosis, oral cancer. The word hung in the air, heavy with implications, instantly changing the trajectory of his life. The news sent shockwaves through Tucci's world. Fear and vulnerability, emotions he rarely allowed himself to feel, now threatened to consume him. The future, once filled with the promise of new roles, travel and time spent with loved ones, suddenly seemed uncertain and fragile. Yet amidst the fear, a quiet determination began to take root. Tucci was a fighter, and he was ready to face this new challenge head on. 
The battle against cancer is rarely fought with grace. For Tucci, the treatment was grueling. Chemotherapy and radiation took a heavy toll on his body, leaving him weak, nauseous, and with painful mouth sores that made eating and even speaking a challenge. His once robust frame thinned, his energy depleted. The simple act of getting out of bed became a monumental task. The man who once captivated audiences with his wit and charm now found himself struggling to find the strength to make it through the day. The impact of his illness rippled outward, touching the lives of his family as well. His wife, Felicity Blunt, became his rock, his constant source of support and strength. His children, though young, showed a maturity beyond their years, offering unconditional love and understanding. Through it all, Tucci refused to let the darkness consume him. He clung to hope, drawing strength from the love of his family and the unwavering belief that he would beat this. Love in the face of fear, Felicity's steadfast support. Throughout his ordeal, there was one constant source of light and strength, his wife, Felicity Blunt. She stood by him through every doctor's appointment, every treatment session, and every moment of doubt. Her unwavering presence was a testament to the power of love and commitment. A literary agent, I met Stanley through my sister, actress Emily Blunt, who co-starred with Stanley in The Devil Wears Prada. Our connection was instant, and it wasn't long before we realized we were meant to be together. Our shared love for literature, film, and family brought us closer every day. Their love story was one for the books. And in the face of his diagnosis, Felicity's love never wavered. She was there to hold his hand, to offer a shoulder to cry on, and to remind him of the strength he had within. Their bond grew even stronger as they faced each challenge together. She became his advocate, his caregiver, his pillar of strength. Felicity took on the role of a warrior, fighting for Stanley's health and well-being with every ounce of her being. She coordinated with doctors, managed medications, and ensured that Stanley had everything he needed to fight his illness. I navigated the complexities of his treatment, researched alternative therapies, and tirelessly sought out the best medical care. I spent countless hours reading medical journals, consulting with specialists, and exploring every possible option to give Stanley the best chance at recovery. I sat by his bedside through countless hours, offering words of comfort and encouragement when he needed them most. I held his hand through the pain, whispered words of love and hope, and reminded him that he was not alone in this fight. But perhaps most importantly, Felicity provided something even more profound, unwavering faith. She believed in his recovery with every fiber of her being, and that belief became a source of strength for Stanley. Her faith was a beacon that guided them through the darkest times. She believed in his recovery, even when he struggled to believe in it himself. Her optimism and hope were infectious, lifting Stanley's spirits and giving him the courage to keep fighting. Felicity's belief in him was a powerful force that helped him overcome the toughest moments. Her love was a beacon of hope in the darkest of times, a reminder that even in the face of fear and uncertainty, love could prevail. Felicity's steadfast support and unwavering love were the foundation upon which Stanley's recovery was built. Together, they proved that love truly conquers all. Finding strength resilience in the darkest hour. In the face of life's most daunting challenges, resilience becomes our guiding light, our beacon of hope. This is the story of Stanley Tucci, a man who faced the unimaginable and emerged stronger. Cancer may have ravaged his body, but it couldn't touch the indomitable spirit that resided within Stanley Tucci. His journey through illness was not just a battle against a disease, but a testament to the human spirit's capacity to endure and thrive. 
Through the pain, the fear, and the uncertainty, I discovered a reservoir of resilience I never knew I possessed. It was in those darkest moments that I found my true strength, a strength that I didn't even know existed within me. I refused to let the illness define me. Instead, I chose to define my journey, to find meaning and purpose even in the midst of suffering. Every day was a new opportunity to fight, to live, and to cherish the moments that truly mattered. He found solace in small victories, a good day with minimal pain, a shared meal with his family, the simple joy of a beautiful sunset. These moments, though seemingly insignificant, became the pillars of his strength, the anchors that kept him grounded. He drew inspiration from fellow survivors, their stories reminding him that he was not alone in his fight. The shared experiences, the collective resilience, and the unwavering support of the community became a source of immense strength and hope. We all have our battles, and Stanley's journey showed me that resilience isn't just about surviving. It's about thriving in the face of adversity, about finding the courage to